Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would share making a couple of Christmas cards using some chipboard elements. These are laser cut chipboard elements, some scrapbook paper, and some stamps. So I've got a couple of cards here. These are the examples that we're going to make. So we're going to start with some chipboard pieces. These are laser cut pieces that I have in my shop that we cut ourselves on our laser and I'm getting out a scrap of paper what I'm going to do is I want to paint these with just plain acrylic paint so in this case it is cream colored so I'll just grab my paintbrush I'll shake up the bottle a little bit get some paint here in the cap sometimes I pour it out but I find it's just as easy to use the cap and I'm just going to come in here and coat all of these chipboard pieces with a layer of paint. I'll dry it and then I'll put another layer just because I really want the next layer to pop. Whenever you're painting chipboard like this, do pick it up every once in a while so it doesn't stick to your paper that you're working on. All right, so the chipboard pieces are pretty much dry they may be a little damp but it won't matter for the next step that i'm going to do i just want to make sure that the paint is not wet so it won't transfer to anything so we've got the believe merry christmas and then the santa with his reindeer i'm going to get a versa versamark embossing pad or what i call a watermark pad I like this because it's usually pretty juicy. I keep mine juicy by re-inking it. And I've got some mixture of red glitter embossing powder. I decided to paint the chipboard because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter red. And when you just put the embossing powder directly onto the chipboard, it becomes a really dark, deep red. But I wanted this a little bit brighter. So I'm going to take my Versamark pad and squish it on top of my sentiment and the elements here. So I'm doing the Merry Christmas first and then I'm gonna put that into my embossing powder. And I'll just kind of shake it over it and I'll fish it out of the embossing powder and kind of tap off the excess. I'm gonna set this aside for just a moment and do the other elements too. So here are my elements that are laid out on a cookie sheet and I put them on a cookie sheet so that I don't uh, scorch or melt my mat because it's plastic and it'll also help with embossing because it'll go a little bit faster because it'll heat from behind as well. I'm going to use my heat tool and emboss or heat this powder up and it will melt. If you don't have red embossing powder but you have clear glitter embossing powder and you have red acrylic paint, paint it red and then sprinkle the embossing powder in clear glitter like I did with the red. So those have now been embossed. Don't touch them right away because they will be hot and that embossing powder will stick to your skin and burn. So don't touch them and let them cool for just a moment. I'm going to set this aside. I have a few pieces of paper here, one of them being a 12 by 6 piece of cardstock. I want to make a 4 by 6 card, a couple of them. So what I'm going to do is trim this piece of paper to be 8 inches by 6 inches. So that will give me this little postcard size. And then I have this 6 by 8 piece that I'll score in half. Use my scoring tool. And I'll be able to fold that in half to make a card. And then I have this scrapbook pad. It was given to me. It's some two-sided paper, but I really like this little plaid piece. So I'm going to trim it to be three and three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch. So that will become a mat. And then this piece, I'll just trim off this white area. It's actually perforated, but I prefer to have a clean edge whenever I uh, cut my paper because sometimes that perforation is kind of jagged. So I'll just go ahead and cut that off. I have this little piece of artist trading card size craft paper, and I know that I want a mat 
have a Merry Christmas. So let me pop this up off my tray. So I'm looking at this piece and the Merry Christmas is about an inch and a half by three inches. So if I make this two by three and a quarter, so that will go in the center there. So I'll go ahead and round the corners of this piece. I've got my corner chomper. If you don't have one, just take your scissors and round them. And let's go ahead and add Distress Inks to all of our layers. So I'm using Distress Ink, got it upside down, Walnut Stain. I'll go ahead and glue this piece down so that it'll be drying. So I'm just going to take my Aline's Tacky Glue and kind of touch it to the back side a little bit. And I'll use my finger to kind of smooth that paint, that glue out. And then let's center it. And then I've got an acrylic block, so I'll just lay this on top of it, and that'll help smush it together. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the Believe onto this piece, because it's going to be a little pocket element. And again, that way the glue can be drying as I get the other elements prepared. And I've got another acrylic block that I'll just lay on top. I've got this little rectangle piece here, but I think I want to add some gold to it. I forgot to do it on the other elements, so we're going to have to finagle this around. I've got a gold leafing pin. It's called an 18 karat gold little leafing pin by Krylon. And I've got my ruler here. So what I'll do is use my ruler as a guide and then just touch this along that edge. And then I'll have a gold edge on my piece. And it almost acts like another layer has been put down. So I've got that with the gold around it. And I forgot to do it on this piece. So we're going to have to see if I can't trick it. I think I can. And I went across there. There may be glue visible now, but it will dry clear. So isn't that pretty with the frame? So this piece, I want to glue on top of this piece here. So I'm just going to add some glue on three sides to make this a pocket. Across the top here, I want to add a little element. So I have this leafy vine, I believe. I always forget the name. And I just had it out the other day. Maybe it's on this one. It is called Leafy Border. Leafy Border. <laughs> I'll get to know these one of these days. So let's get the embossing pad again. So I've got the Versamark pad. I'm going to ink this up. And I want to stamp it. Got a little bit of glue on here, I think. So right in the middle at the top. And then I have some gold glitter embossing powder. So I'm just going to dip my card and tap off any excess. And then I'll heat emboss this. So adds a little sparkle across there. There'll be some loose glitter. It'll come off here in just a moment. I'm let it cool and then I can wipe it off. I'm going to set this side for a moment and let's put this portion together. So I've got my base and my card topper. So I'm just going to make this, you know what, we'll make this a little pocket so that who knows, we may want to stuff something in there. So I'm making where there's an opening at the top and just centering it in my card base. I've got my Merry Christmas. It's going to go here. And then this guy is going to go kind of around it. And I think, I think I made this deeper than I should have. I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Sometimes that happens. See, we can fix it. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'll glue down the sentiment and then I'll glue the Santa over the, around it, kind of arching over it. And that card's done, but I'm going to put my block on it so that it'll glue to that piece. All right, so this has a pocket. We need something to go in the pocket. I have a label punch. I think this is a, this is Paper Studio. So it's this great big label punch, and I punched it out of some copper cardstock that I happen to have. And then I have the sentiment, and I'm going to get some black ink. The sentiment says, I wish we could bottle up 
the Christmas Bottle Up Christmas Spirit. So it's called Bottle Up is the name of the stamp. So I'm going to stamp that right in the center of this little label piece. Like so. I thought that would be kind of cute to pop in this little pocket. You could also put a gift card in here. I've got some pre-cut cards. These are just something that I had in my stash. And let's round the corners. I think that time I used the half inch. Sometimes I alternate back and forth. Let's apply some distress inks. And then I've got another little stamp. We'll stamp on here. This is Tis the Season. So I'm just using Jet Black Archival Ink. Make sure I got it right side up. And I thought that would be kind of cute to put in the pocket. So you could write a little note. You could put a gift card. You could send this off as a uh, in an envelope or as a postcard. And then here is our other card with the Santa and his reindeer. It says Merry Christmas. I leave the inside blank. I may choose to stamp something in there later, but for now, I just like the idea of having a couple little cards. Well, I hope you like this idea of using chipboard and layering with your scrapbook paper, using some rubber stamps as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check the description box below for links to the products that I used today and my social media connectors. Do check out my group, the Friendly Junk Journal People, as well as by Linda Israel is another group that I have. That's a much smaller group and basically Basically, I just kind of share whatever I'm working on at the moment. What else? Oh, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on Thursdays, I either have a live or I have a premiere that goes live. It's a recorded video. So I hope you'll come out on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.